Hello, DDP students. This is the second video in our Pac-Man Fusion 360 assignment. Um, so we did the middle part here. We drew the line tool, offset it a couple times. We did the box and offset that and added some text. Now we're going to um, do the Pac-Man drawing, the five pellets, the cherry, and this little teardrop. So to do that, we're going to go back to our drawing. We're going to zoom way in. We're going to use the pan tool to pan it. So let's just zoom out. You could either use this with pan or you could use the zoom tools in the navigation bar. So this is good enough for me. Um, we're going to start with a circle. And I'm going to make a circle that fits in there. OK, this is a nice size. I'm going to use my line tool. I'm going to try to get that same angle of the triangle that's right there. So, okay, that looks good to me. All right, so we're just going to go with it. Okay, and then I'm going to create my eye. Okay, and we're just going to let that be good enough for now. So I'm on my line tool. I'm gonna to go and switch the line type in my sketch palette to construction. And I'm gonna start about here and I'm gonna make a line. We can go to here, okay? I'm gonna to go to my circle tool. I'm gonna to switch off the construction line type. And now I'm going to make another circle. Okay, that's gonna be our cherry. And to do this, um, we're going to take a look at this. And we have this shine shape right here, and we have the stem. We're going to go back. We're going to zoom way in. And I want to start my arc for the shine kind of over in this area here. So I'm going to go to Create, Arc, Three-Point Arc. And I'm going to start about here. I'm going to go at an angle and then get a nice three-point arc going. I'm going to zoom in even further, and I'm going to get a line, just a straight line a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to try to maybe make it a little straighter on the bottom. Go back to my three-point arc. I'm going to connect these two points. And I'm just going to get something that looks like this. It's okay if it's a little more narrow here and wider there. I think that actually looks pretty good. I'm going to use my pan tool to go up here. And I'm going to draw the stem, which is going in the opposite direction. So to do that, I'm going to go back to my arc, three-point arc. And I'm going to lean it more in this direction here. Go back to my line tool. I'm going to make some sort of straight line. Go back to my arc. I'm going to connect it somewhere here. That looks good. All right, so now I'm going to go above that. And over here, I'm going to go to my spline. And I'm just going to draw the best approximation of this teardrop that I can. All right. And if we want to manipulate it in any way, you could always go, whoops, read that. They have anchor points that you can manipulate it, OK? So this just shows you um, the sort of construction circle that it, this form, this curve takes, OK? So let's just get off that. OK. All right, so let's just move on. In the interest of time, um, something like that is fine, OK? So we're just going to move on to the rectangular patterning part. So we have this. What we're looking for is five equally spaced pellets that go here. So we have this construction line. This is a line we don't want to be part of our design, but will help us direct things. So I'm going to go to my circle tool. And I'm going to draw a small pellet. 
Okay, we have that. And here we have our rectangular patterning. So we're gonna do a few things here. Um, this is gonna change as the direction of the path plan changes, the path will change. So I'm gonna show you in another video how to go about doing that. So um, for this though, we're going to let's see, just look at it. So we have the object selected here and then other fields pop up. So with this, the direction is just, it's already got a straight linear path. But if this were um, going in another direction, you would hit direction and select the path and it would go in a different direction. Anyhow, we wanna change the field here to five and then drag it, okay? These are equally spaced, but let's just say the pellets were really close together and you wanted just a little space between it. You can change the distance and add distance between them by increasing this field right here. But for now, that's good enough. We're gonna set that. We're gonna zoom in and we're going to trim our construction line because we don't need it anymore. Okay, and this is our first Pac-Man cherry and pellets, and this is where we're at so far. Okay, see you in the next video.